And I was like, wow. So, so your guy you picked first round book now, you say he's a lost cause now. You didn't give him a chance. So you, they didn't tow his mind up. So he can't play no more. Right. This dude, I remember when he had his first interview and he said, you know what? Me and Melo will be a heck of a backcourt. And to go from that to like, you can't get off the bench with the G League. Man, he like, man, you better hope you don't do nothing crazy. This is live from where the Charlotte Hornets play. I've officially put an APB out for James Booknight. This man was an 11th overall pick. This man played two games over 30 <laughs> minutes and had zero points. There's a public <laughs> service announcement. You know, this man might got to, this man got to deliver the goods. I'm walking through Spectrum. So let, let me give you a world tour. It's flight sport. They're not doing it like this. You see, I'm out here. It's Charlotte Hornets. Pay homage. Listen, let me. Listen, listen, we got breaking news in the NBA involving the Charlotte Hornets. And to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I could not be even more delighted. Listen, the Hornets are cleaning house and book night is gone. He is on the outs. I guess all that laughing didn't catch up to him. The Charlotte Hornets have waived James book night. This horrendous roller coaster from three years in the um the G League. It, this has just been just super sad. You understand? When the when the last time you seen a guy in the summer league three years in you, you ain't never seen it. You know, um, and this is a lottery pick, y'all. Uh, a former eleventh overall pick in the 2021 draft. And and it, it it pains me because this man is from Crown Heights, New York. He did not put on for New York City. You know, um, he's six four, ladies and gentlemen. He completely flopped for the Charlotte Hornets. The Yukon Husky did absolutely nothing for LaMelo Ball and his development. He was brought in to help accelerate the Charlotte Hornets, but clearly that was not the case. The Hornets right now are on a cleaning house spree and the first rounds have begun. And James Booknight, it looked like he was safe. He was on, he was cleared. You know, you've seen the trade deadline. It came and went, you know, but it seemed like Booknight was going to survive. No, no, no. And I told the people, y'all, you know, they have devalued every single asset in the Charlotte Hornets. They had a guy, Kai Jones, go crazy, make records, while out on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, and he ends up asking for a trade. They go back to him, you have no trade value, Mr. Jones, you understand? So they end up just waving him. They couldn't even trade James Booknight. They ain't never going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you that. The trade deadline just passed. James Booknight had no value. They could get, they could abstract nothing from no other team in this league for Mr. Book. I'm telling you, they would have let him go for a second round pick if they could. They couldn't ever get a second rounder for this guy. You understand? This is how badly he played. He was just, like I said, a completely devalued asset. It was on his part, along with the Charlotte Hornets. This man right here should be completely ashamed of himself. He only played 14 games this season. This is his third year in the league. He's averaged three points. Um, this is just sad. You know, zero rebounds, zero assists, zero steals, zero blocks. He's averaged five minutes um a game this season i mean this guy right here it, 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 he's just he's just been bad you know point blank and he deserves to be waived now he i'm telling you james book night right now he's on a situation where he could be out of the league and more than likely i don't know if it's going to happen i can see a team picking up book night don't be surprised if you get to the lakers or something like that because you're gonna have teams like that that have to Maybe the Suns take a flyer on them. You know, you you got to get a guy with some upside. They're gonna look at a book night will be looked at like, oh man, he's a level four overall pick. You were playing for Charlotte. Let's see if we could get him in our system. But I, I'm telling you, you, you heard what Lavar Ball said. His mind is totally thrown. You understand? He will never grow into the full fruition of the player he was supposed to become. And it saddens me to, to, to see this. You understand? I wish it worked out with him and LaMelo Ball. But like I told the people before, the people have to pay the price for what has occurred, y'all. You understand? The Charlotte Hornets came out like just completely god-awful. You understand? And... Nobody can walk away free from this. You understand? Nobody's going into the off season comfortable. Nobody's nobody's going to be comfortable no more around here. 
you know, if you know you on the on the way out, you listen, you better not don't don't buy no houses. You better rent, get a condo. You understand, because there's going to be a lot of short stays in Charlotte. Our new ownership has taken over and they have done something that I have yet to see uh, from the Charlotte Hornets. They've actually done some things today. They've added some pieces that I'm not going to say they home runs, but they um, are, are they all right? Yeah. You understand? I think so. I think these these pieces that they added help out what they're trying to do. They space the floor for guys like Mr. Miller, guys like Mello. You know, um, we don't know what they're going to do with Miles. You understand? Like I told you, Miles, they, they possibly would. It's all messed up what was going to happen today. But people was going to pay the price. You understand? And everybody knew it this morning. You know, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Mello was consulted. But at the end of the day, there's only so much advocating Mello could do for you. You know, when they're ready to let these guys go, they run it by Mello. Mello might say, hold on, I don't know about that. I mean, there's only so many hold-ons, and I don't know about that. And I'm not saying this is what is being going on, but I'm pretty sure when they're ready to trade P.J. Washington, LaMelo Ball knew a little something was going to happen with P.J. He knew some people was on the outs. It's no secret that we woke up this morning, Miles talking about he ain't going nowhere. He vetoing everything. You understand? So that's how... That's how certain he, these guys were on the way out there. The Hornets was ready to do it today, y'all. They was ready to do it, you know. Um, but nonetheless, Book Night, man, um, he's at a career crossroads, you know. Um, and uh, he's been through, he's had some arrests, you know. Um, I'm not going to get all into that. Um, but Book Night has definitely been a guy um, who left a lot on the table. You know, he's a guy that has to figure out what he's going to do next, what's going to be his next move in, in in life. You know, not not even no more, not so much basketball, what's going on in life, you know, because that's what it seems. You know, you lose an opportunity like this. These people love Charlotte. And I told people that they, they was moving around Charlotte like they was in Vida Loca land. You understand? Um, and to see that these, these the, the, basically the 2011 draft was nothing. You know, you're talking about Jones going, you know, and obviously, like I just told you, book night on the outs. This Melo, who, who, who loses here? LaMelo. Two lottery picks, you know, two, two, uh, two first round picks. You understand? To, to go out like this, this is, this is just, man. You know, I mean, you you can't you can't you can't start this. I mean, you, the Mello took the L here. You know, and how many L's are Lamelo gonna is gonna is gonna be able to take? You know, because in this NBA, y'all, as great as Mello is, you cannot do a one man show no more in the NBA. There's they, there's no one man shows anymore. You understand? It's not going down like that no more. Um, you might be lucky to get to the playoffs with a one man show. You know, um, you have to get other pieces on this team that could do multiple different things, you know, to go as along with what you have. And these guys was not getting it done. I know it's tough today for a lot of Hornets fans and a lot of fans of Mello because we're accustomed to these guys. These almost been like family friends for crying out loud. But these guys were not friends, you know, they was not with the betterment of trying to uplift LaMelo and uplift the Hornets. They was just here to have a good time and collect NBA checks, you know, and just destroy the Charlotte Hornets. You know, that is a franchise that's been around for a while. I'm not saying they got prestige all over them, but they not supposed to be this horrendous. And I'm going to leave it at that. I got more to discuss. James Booknight, bye, bye, bye. It's Flight Sports TV. I am so happy about this news. I am so happy. Book night is gone. Book night is gone, y'all. You know, um, you remember all these let book cook stuff, you know, with these guys. A lot of people was running around doing. We had T-shirts, hoodies, you know. It's time to throw those things in the garbage. James Book Night is garbage. It's Flight Sports TV. You already know.